Joining us now live is former Secretary of State, First Lady, Senator, Presidential nominee Hillary Rodham Clinton. Madam Secretary, thank you so much for making time to be here. I, I really appreciate you accepting our invitation. Happy to talk with you tonight. Um, first, let me just ask you if you think we're asking the right questions here. When, when you look at this war, <laughs> when you look at these past five days, what do you think is the most yeah. important thing for the American people to understand? I, I think all of your questions are really important, but I would put a big umbrella over them, Rachel, um, for the American people, really for uh, citizens of all democracies, that this may uh, at first be somewhat confusing uh, for those who are looking at it from the outside, but make no mistake, uh, this is not just a an unprovoked, aggressive invasion by Russia. It is an effort by Putin and those who prop him up and enable him to really wage war on the rule of law and democracy, on freedom. And it's critically important that, as we've seen in the last days, uh, that democratic uh, governments and people rally to support uh, Ukraine in this uh, struggle, because it's also our struggle. In terms of the Western response, um, I will not be the first observer to note that the speed and um, unanimity of the Western world's response has been a surprise. The idea that uh, the Russian sanctions at this point would be multilateral, um, that even banking sanctions would involve countries like Singapore and Switzerland, of all places, that the Russian central bank would be sanctioned, um, that countries like Germany, which for very good historical reasons don't send weapons abroad, would be sending weapons directly into Ukraine to help them, that the European Union would be sending in weapons. I, I, I think it is a remarkable show of single purpose um, by the Western world to help. It also feels like, while it simultaneously feels like more than we can imagine, it also feels like not enough. Um, how do you view the Western response thus far? Well, I agree with you that it is remarkable. I give uh, President Biden and the Biden administration a lot of credit for uh, leading uh, the world to this point. Uh, the strategy of disclosing um, intelligence uh, to demonstrate uh, very clearly that Putin was trying to do once again what he had done before, use disinformation, false flag operations in order to uh, try to justify an unjustifiable invasion, was incredibly smart, unprecedented. And it seems to have really woken up so much of the world and stymied Putin. And bringing uh, not just Europe, but as you say, uh, countries as far flung as Singapore, even Japan and others, uh, to understand that this threat was global. It uh, certainly is a direct threat to Western democracies right in the heart of Europe. But to let an autocrat uh, do what uh, Putin decided to do is something that uh, everybody has a stake in trying to stop. So. Up until now, the kind of economic pressures that have been brought to bear, uh, I think, are not only remarkable, but seem to be really biting. And the second point you make, uh, providing necessary weapons to Ukraine uh, has begun. It needs to be accelerated. The Ukrainians need Stinger missiles to shoot down Russian aircraft. They need Javelin missiles to stop tanks. They need a lot of uh, ammunition. They need as much support as they possibly can be given, uh, because it is a two-prong approach now. Uh, the president, uh, Zelensky, who has been extraordinary and deserves the thanks uh, and gratitude, appreciation, admiration of all of us, uh, is trying to operate on two levels. He's trying to continue to rally his people uh, to fight uh, the Russian invaders. But he's also saying, look, I'll talk to you. I don't I don't know what can come of it. Because that is a possible way out. If the Ukrainians, with our help, uh, can impose enough economic pain on uh, Putin and, sadly, the Russian people, uh, combined with providing weapons, that that might be the only way that right now I can see us getting to a stalemate 
uh, that might save the Ukrainian people from even greater uh, tragedy.